Since it is officially summer, I thought I would take you through what I prepare meal-wise for both myself as well as my family on a regular day. We're starting in the kitchen because I'll be sharing breakfast, lunch, dinner, as well as snack ideas for all of us and I'm gonna bring you right along with me as I prep and prepare them. For all of your magical weight loss surgery, Disney lifestyle, mamahood tips, please be sure to subscribe here to Berry Tail Coaching. You know I love it when you hit that button and I love seeing our Berry Tail family grow. As you may know, if you've been watching any of our recent Berry Tail Bariatric Story videos, I am almost at my three year VSG anniversary. So while my tummy is still only 15% of what it was pre-surgery, I did have a VSG, a sleeve, a gastric sleeve. I will leave a video that I recently filmed on the differences between like the VSG surgery, which is a sleeve versus a bypass or an RNY. I did an explanation video, so I will leave that up here for you. But anywho, because I am almost three years out, despite only having 15% of my stomach, I am eating what are my new normal sized portions. Like my forever sized portions. This is what we're working with. So just, just a reminder, it takes a while to get here. When you are fresh out of surgery, the amount that I am currently eating, it's usually about this much, is feels unattainable or wild because you're working with literal bites at that point. So you will get here, just give it time. Something else that's worth noting is that I do not love to repeat meals. I mentioned this recently in a video, I am not someone who is happy to eat the same thing every single day. Or I, like my sister, totally good with that. She gets sick of something, she moves on to a new routine. The only meal that I tend to repeat is breakfast. I will be featuring some of my affiliate codes that I'm going to link in the description box for you, but these are products I genuinely use on a day-to-day -day basis and love and enjoy, which is why I repeatedly talk about them. I have not been paid to make this video. Let's start with the most important meal of the day, breakfast. We call it brekkie here at our house. Fun fact, I used to hate breakfast. And I really attribute that to the fact that I truly despised eggs. Then I had weight loss surgery and soft scrambled eggs were one of the first meals that I could chew after the liquid diet phase. And it made me appreciate them oh so much. And now we're on, we're on an exclusive basis. I love eggs now. Island queen. Honestly, eggs are my like weekend brekkie of choice. My goal for breakfast is to start the day with at least half of my protein intake. I aim for around 60 grams a day for protein. I do like a pre-made protein shake from Fairlife. I'll show it to you. It's this one. It's the Core Power. It has 26 grams. They do make a 42 gram protein. I think it's called like Super Power or something. And it's in like a grayish container. However, I find that one way harder to digest. It's like too much protein all at once. So I will reach for those, but I tend to only be able to drink half at a time. Honestly, I have always preferred to make my own protein breakfasts. So these are great for the school year. I am a teacher. They're great for like, if you have a fast morning activity with your kiddo, but when there's time, I'm going to show you what I like to do. And I know that I have shown you the protein shake that I love so many times, both here on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, like you're probably sick of it. So I'm gonna show you the new twist that I've been liking. We're gonna make a protein bowl. Ooh. Okay, let's first begin with the ingredients. I'm going to try to give you an overview of how much protein is truly in this, but the ingredients that I'm using, I'm trying to make them clean and whole. So a frozen banana is going to serve as like my ice in the blender. I think the star of the show are the raspberries. These are fresh, they're freshly washed. I like to do some in the blender and then some on top. I am using plant-based oat milk. You could always swap this out for dairy. Uh, I do find you can get more protein with like a whole milk, but I also think you're getting perhaps more fat and calories than I need. 
at this time. So there are only two grams of protein in here, but there's also only seven grams of sugar for a full cup. We're not gonna be using a full cup. And I used to use almond butter, but I have switched over to this PB2 powdered peanut butter. Um, it does have six grams of protein in two tablespoons, and all you do is like mix it into a liquid. I feel like this goes so much farther. I wouldn't try to use this for like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, though I am sure people do, but it is awesome for blending. Do you know what's coming next? Dee 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 dee. 310 nutrition i have talked about 310 nutrition for probably three years like since my surgery happened this is a new product so this is the types one and three collagen peptides unflavored i am literally always looking for ways to insert collagen proteins into my diet because i love what it does for your hair skin and nails i love how it makes you glow from the inside out while also delivering protein and as everything is with 310 nutrition it's gluten-free it's all like non-gmo clean paleo friendly keto friendly it's all the things so i will leave my discount code below for 310 nutrition but this one is brand new this product i am of course still using their actual protein powders and you've seen me use those for such a long time, but I absolutely love this. It's right here, the claims, the call outs are that it promotes skin elasticity, which is really what I'm in it for, right? Not just on my face, but like throughout my body. You've seen my loose skin, you know what that looks like. Bone and joint health, stronger nails and healthier hair. Those are all the things I'm looking for. I'm on like a healthy hair journey. I'm trying to grow my nails out and make them stronger again. Obviously, I want bone and joint health, obviously, but also that will help while I'm running, all the good things. One scoop has 10 grams of protein. So this is not as protein dense as some of these like specific protein powders, but that's okay. And I love that it's unflavored because I like to add it to literally whatever I can. Am I drinking a hot tea? A scoop goes in. Like there's just all the ways to use this. And I like to combine it with other protein powders too. So really maximizing that protein value. Let's get the blender. Okay, so I'm gonna start by pouring in two thirds of a cup of our oat milk. I'm going to pop in the one cup of raspberries, one tablespoon of the powdered peanut butter, precisely measured as you can see, a scoop of our 310 peptide collagen powder. And I'm gonna first start by blending this all up and then I will add in my frozen banana. Half a frozen banana at first. Second half. So I've added to this bowl a little shredded coconut, a mint leaf, some extra raspberries. Sometimes I also add chia seeds, but right after surgery, you need to be careful with chia seeds because they do expand in your stomach and a new VSG tummy is not going to like that. You could add chocolate chips, flaxseed, literally anything, a dollop of peanut butter, but this is what it looks like. I do get two servings out of this, which is why I share it with Callie. So let's dig in for breakfast, shall we? It is so pretty. Mm. Mm. It's a really good mix for someone like me who likes savory and sweet. The peanut butter like grounds it with the savory flavor. Fresh strawberries, fresh raspberries are so good. Cheers for breakfast. I will leave the pin linked where I found a recipe that kind of inspired this one. Okay, you are balanced on some very creative boxes right now because my tripod is busy. So I am preparing a lunch that I can get a whole week's worth of lunches out of, which is one of the reasons I love to do this. It's all about the marinade. I am using thin 
chicken breasts because these are an awesome source of protein. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to make like a salad. But before I can actually construct that salad, which is super easy, it's feta, which is one of the cheeses that's easier for me to digest. It's black olives. It's a balsamic and olive oil dressing with some red leaf lettuce. You could swap any of those things out for things that you love, but in the summertime, I love like a Mediterranean Greek salad. So I'm gonna grill these puppies, and the first thing I'm gonna do is make a little marinade to put them in for 30 minutes or overnight, depending on how long you have. Now, I don't typically measure my marinades. I just kind of eyeball and taste along the way before I add the chicken. But I'm gonna start with what I think is probably a fourth of a cup of olive oil. Um, you could add red wine vinegar into this. You certainly don't have to. If I can find a lemon, I will squeeze the juice of a lemon in here. I'm going to do a little bit of honey. That's probably a tablespoon or so. And then I have this Italian pre-made seasoning grinder. This is made up of like garlic powder, oregano, some salt, but it's already kind of done for you. But if you need to get your own, you could simply look on Pinterest for like a Greek seasoning mix. And I'm sure you could find one at the store. I just like to make my own because I can control what goes into it. And I think after weight loss surgery, that's really, really important. I'm going to add a tiny bit of my Hawaiian sea salt, which I love. Black pepper. And because this is for me and not my daughter, I can add as much as I want. Ooh, I do want to add an extra cube of garlic to this. I have a little bit of paprika, just like a dash. I'm not a super spicy person, just a dash. Let me get some garlic. For ease and no dishes to do, I'm going to use the Trader Joe's crushed garlic. I really want to get their ginger to go into some of my waters. But this is gonna go in here frozen and then as the marinade kind of warms up, it'll melt. Look what I found in the fridge. A little lemon. Did you know that if you roll a lemon like under your palms, it's supposed to get the juice out better? True or false? That's something I read and took it as fact. So don't know if it's real. Oh yeah, lots of lemon. Just the smell of a lemon is so summery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's whisk. Whisking all of these ingredients together. Taste test. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil in there. Now I add the chicken. before I wash my hands I'm gonna get right on in there this to some of you might be absolutely disgusting texture wise but when I was pregnant raw chicken really really grossed me out but you know we've returned back to a normal tummy situation well that's not entirely true is it okay Chicken coated. Let's wash hands. Now all we do is cover this chicken, that was a good catch, right? And put it in the fridge. And then when it's time to grill it up, you'll come right along. I did it. We grilled the chicken. Full disclosure, I typically ask my husband to do that part for me because the grill is new and I don't want to be the one to hurt it in any way. And yes, you are seeing like the third outfit change or more of this video. However, it's only been filmed over the course of two days. So anyway, the chicken is cooked perfectly. I'm very proud of this. I'm going to cut this up and because it is the warmest part of the dish, I'm gonna put it at the bottom. I'm planning on actually sharing the salad with several friends. However, 
this would be my lunch for like a week. So let's get to chicken chopping. The next two ingredients are my favorite. I have pitted black Kalmata olives and a huge block of feta cheese. I add in the lettuce like the very last thing, like quite literally right before I dress it and eat it because I find that it gets soggy. Um, and even when I would make like those cute little mason jar salads, I always put my lettuce on the top. So I'm gonna do chicken, then cheese, then olives, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and right before we're ready to eat it, I will add the lettuce, toss it, and then add the dressing. I like to buy the blocks of feta because they crumble very easily. As you can see here, I'm just applying some pressure um, and they last you a lot longer and they're way less expensive than like feta cheese that's already been crumbled. It sounds silly, but it's just one of those like inconveniences to have to do it yourself, but honestly, I don't mind. And then I quite literally just sprinkle in the olives. This is going to be delicious. I'm just going to apologize for the lighting in the part of the video. It is very gray and just all of a sudden got dark outside and our kitchen lights are yellowy. So when I'm at the island, there's probably going to be less than high quality lighting. Um, I love YouTube because it's been for you probably just a matter of minutes. And for me it has been, oh, I don't know six to seven hours since we made our smoothie bowl together. So tonight we are doing dinner. And if you have seen any of my what I eat in a day videos or TikToks or reels, then you already know that what's for dinner is every plate. Every plate is a meal subscription service. This is not sponsored. They don't know who I am, although I wish they did. I tag them in everything. Come on, every plate. Let's manifest a collaboration about weight loss surgery boxes. Wouldn't that be a brilliant business idea? Anywho, we get every plate on Fridays and we do three meals with two portions in them each. And that feeds Callie and I, my husband, and usually a guest or two, or I get to take the leftovers for work. So they are two very hearty portions. You do get to pick your meals um, a week ahead on the Every Plate app. I will insert me doing that for future summer weeks. And I always tend to go with different recipes. You will not see, as I've mentioned before, you will not see a lot of repeat recipes, though we do have our favorites, including the turkey and pineapple tacos, the Baja shrimp, and my husband loves the banh mi bowls. He loves those. So when those pop up as options, I do tend to go for those. Tonight, we are doing a brand new recipe, which is a chicken cob salad. So all of the every plate meals come in a cardboard box like this with all of your ingredients. Unlike other meal services like HelloFresh, which they actually own every plate, they don't individually bag each of the meals and I actually prefer that, one, because I can use leftover produce that I didn't include in the recipe or that I know my daughter won't eat, like the jalapenos, let's say, but I also think it's more eco-friendly just to have it in one recyclable, easy to break down cardboard box. So we're gonna get cooking and I'm gonna take you through these steps and just as like a precursor, I have not made this meal before. This is going to be filmed like in real time. It's gonna be fun. So do you see what I mean with the yellow lighting? Apologies. So on the every plate recipe page, you are told exactly what ingredients have come in your box and then what ingredients you still need. And on the back side is a photographed picture by picture breakdown with instructions. Full disclosure, this recipe has bacon in it, which always makes such a mess of my kitchen and our house cleaner is coming tomorrow. So Alicia, if you're seeing this, I'm really sorry, but I am specifically cooking the bacon so that way the oven can stay clean after she comes. I know this is not a Disney video. However, the Brown Derby at Hollywood Studios has a fantastic Cobb salad. So I'm gonna be comparing this one to theirs. So I have just started a little pot of water to boil. I am now going to chop up 
both this Roma tomato as well as the shallot and get all of my veggies kind of mixing together. And in the meantime, this is how all their produce come, by the way. I'm going to get the bacon right on the fry griddle, making a mess. You'll probably hear the fan on. It's a whole thing. So something that I love and have loved about every plate, not only does it come with like a variety of meals for you to choose from, they have kid-friendly meals, they have vegan, like kind of anything that you'd ask for. It's $35 a week which if you have been to the grocery store lately, everything is increasing in price and maybe every plate will, but their prices have stayed the same. I also think every plate is really helpful. Obviously it's designed for like the busy family, right? But I also think like for bariatric patients, it's particularly helpful, one, when you are immediately post-op because you can order every plate and then cancel it whenever you want for your family so that they can cook for themselves while you are on a liquid diet recovering. But then when you go into like, you are, let's pretend you're eight weeks post-op, you're like ready to eat real normal food again. The portion sizes are easy. There's very little waste. And you can look at all of the nutrition information in advance. Like sometimes the hard part with recipes is that you don't know how much protein you're getting or if you're not making the recipes yourself, you kind of don't have any control over that and then you have to do all of the math and figuring out every plate made that really easy i know it sounds incredibly sponsored but we just have been using every plate for years like literally for three years or more since i had surgery and every time i've contacted customer service like let's pretend something was missing from the box um they will fully refund you and they always say, oh wow, you've been with us for a long time because I genuinely have and I love them. I do have a referral code. It's not like an affiliate code, but I do have a referral code that I'll pop into the description box um, if you are interested because I think it gets you $15 off your first box, which would make it 20 bucks for, two, for three meals for two people. You can also increase that and do as many people as you want, but there are only three of us and I don't eat a full portion. I've just chopped up the veg. Here's what's next. Something you will want on hand with every plate are a pair of scissors so that you can open all the little baggies, your own olive oil, as well as salt and pepper. So I've just put the, oh dear, the shallots and the tomatoes in a bowl. It said add as many shallots as you want. So I added half of a shallot. I'm gonna do a little drizzle of olive oil some pepper, and then our Hawaiian sea salt. I gave this to Mark for Christmas. And then it says set aside to marinate. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this little mixture aside. It kind of looks like salsa. And move on to the next step. I'm gonna flip the bacon. I am still waiting for my water to boil to drop the eggs into. So it says, while eggs cook, pat the chicken dry with paper towels and season all over with half a teaspoon of salt and fry seasoning. Heat pan with oil, add chicken. So the first thing, or the next thing at least that I'm gonna do is get our chicken ready. I lied, the water is boiling, so it's time to add the eggs. How many eggs am I supposed to add? Two. I am gonna add four because I like hard boiled eggs for breakfast. Cook for 11 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 11 minutes. And now we do the chicken. The baby's then the mama. That's a very disturbing image. So sorry. always pan from our place as always I love this pan I don't know how people keep the sides clean but we have a gas grill so I think that has something to do with it or a gas stove top but this pan is my favorite pan that we've ever owned this is the fry seasoning and salt on top so in the meantime while the chicken cooks and the eggs are cooking and hard boiling I've taken the little crispy bacons off. I am letting them kind of drain and then I'm going to crumble them. You could use the bacon fat to cook the chicken. 
I'm sure it's delicious, but I just don't think I need those types of fats in my life. So I used olive oil. I have taken one of the buttermilk ranch dressings and the sour cream, and I'm just gonna whisk them at the bottom of this bowl, add in the spinach, and then toss to coat. I'm making such a mess. There is spinach everywhere. I am now going to just break up the little bits of bacon. They're warm but not hot and add them to my tossed spinach. There are croutons in this recipe. Hey Siri, turn off. It seems like we keep getting interrupted with these little taps. It's now time to drain and cool the eggs so they can be added to our cob salad. And then we'll get back to putting bacon in the bowl. So we're gonna drain the boiled eggs. Oh dear, some of them exploded. And then we are going to cover them with cold water. As you can see, some of the eggs did not fully make it, but that's okay. That does not mean they're going to taste any different. It simply means that they're just not gonna be as pretty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to shell them and cut them up and get them ready for our salad. Definitely not as pretty as the picture on every plate. <laughs> it's like this weird little hollow indent. And then I ended up with these like, they almost look like curds of egg white. I'm just gonna put those directly onto Callie's plate because she actually doesn't like yolk. So that'll be perfect for her. And now we can get back to the bacon. I had two eggs that did not crack. So I'm gonna save those because those are the hard boiled ones that we'll have for breakfast. Things are coming along. My tumbly is rumbly and I am getting very hungry. I sound like Winnie the Pooh. Always looking for that next bit of honey. This chicken is so juicy and succulent. I'm gonna cut it into strips. I am not going to put the marinated mixture on the salad because I know Callie won't like it. So when I make my own salad plate, I will add it to that. But my mouth is literally watering. Let me give you the nutrition facts. This might be a new favorite, I'm excited. I'm not sure I've been excited for dinner like this, for a home cooked dinner that I made because I kind of know what it's gonna taste like. It doesn't look pretty. This is what every plates look like, okay? Food photography. I'm gonna put a picture of the brown derby one up here. <laughs> this is what my masterpiece looks like. It's gonna be delicious. The chicken is so good. It's so like juicy, that fry seasoning on it. Okay. We'll do a taste test. You think it's good? Yeah. So I have to switch over to my phone because my camera battery died. But let me, this is what my plate looks like. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all of this. I love it. So Callie loves it so far, thank you. For some reason, I could not upload a voiceover for that final clip. So what you are seeing on the plate is my leftovers. So the plate size that I am using is a salad size plate rather than like a regular dinner size plate. And I do that for all of my meals. When the opportunity comes to use a bowl, I use a cup instead of a bowl. And in the beginning of post-op, I used baby utensils, like toddler sized utensils. I used like tiny jars for things because I wanted my eating experience to feel more normal and not like I was eating tiny bites with like a giant utensil. Now my utensil size is normal, but I tend to use smaller dishware. So what you're seeing is about a fourth of the salad that remains. I do still go in for my protein first every single time. So you saw two different salad 
recipes, which is pretty normal. I do try to eat as much salad as I can. And I did have like a mental mindset switch where I told myself, girl, you love salad. And now I don't necessarily just love like plain lettuce, but I do love a good complex salad, especially if it has like any type of crumbled cheese, obviously, who wouldn't love that, and shrimp. I look for salads that are protein heavy. So I start with those bites and then I work my veggies in afterwards. So all in all in this day where you saw breakfast, lunch, and dinner, plus half of my wardrobe, I do change a lot. Um, and most of it is for social media, like if I'm doing a content day, then I will be vlogging or sitting down to talk to you or making reels or TikToks. So I do change several times throughout the day. But what you saw today was around 75 to 80 grams of protein between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I did not snack, which is why I didn't film any snacks but maybe i'll do a separate reel on instagram about like my favorite protein driven snacks if that's something you'd be interested in seeing please let me know um in general i do try to avoid snacking and then whenever i eat either a carbohydrate a fruit or a vegetable i always pair it with a protein so it was a protein heavy day as most of them are it was still under 1200 calories uh, because I don't eat full serving sizes of pretty much anything. And you did not see, but there were at least 80 ounces of water also consumed, plus all of my vitamins on top of this. If you're looking for like a comprehensive wake up in the morning, what vitamin are you taking to like the vitamins you take before bed at night with all of the liquid, all of the water, all of the meals and snacks, if you're looking for something that much more comprehensive will you let me know i worry that it will be boring um like it would be a true vlog and that is not a skill i've perfected yet so let me know if you want like a summer eating vlog with less meal prep and more just what i'm eating let me know if that's something you're interested in i hope this was helpful for you i will leave in the description box all of the links to the things that I have found truly helpful, including pins to recipes that inspired the ones that I ate today, and my 310 nutrition discount and link will be down there below. The always pan will of course be there as well because that is a staple part of kitchen essentials in my life now. What else did we talk about today? Oh, the every plate discount will be down there as well. Again, I'm using these affiliate or referral codes. I don't necessarily make money from them, but these are true things that I love and use on a daily basis. So I hope you find them helpful too. We're getting back into a little bit of Disney content and spoiler, I am going on vacation in August. So there will be some prep. It's not a Disney vacation, but there will be some prep for that coming up as well. So make sure you're subscribed. I love you. I hope you are having a magical week and we will see you soon. Bye everybody.